When you go to cast your ballot, you'll be voting on a new governor to lead the state. You've seen all those ads supporting and attacking each candidate. We spoke exclusively with each candidate to get beyond politics. Here's Adam Laxalt. You know, the chance to be able to do this and like just have a regular conversation and be able to, um, you know, show a personal side of either myself or my family, what I stand for, what motivates me. I mean, I don't think you can see that on any news station in the last couple of years. Politics, it's an ugly business. It is a terrible business, absolutely. You said it with a smile. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a tough business. I mean, it's, as all your viewers, I'm sure, can tell, it's so ugly, it's so nasty. Um, there's a lot of distortion. Nevada State Attorney General and Republican gubernatorial candidate Adam Laxalt told me politics weren't a part of his plan, even though it's in his blood. Growing up, knowing the role your grandfather played, did you always want to go into politics? Never. No, I mean, there, no one had done any politics in our family for decades. Uh, my grandfather hadn't been on the ballot since 1980. And, um, you know, it's, I think it's an ugly business. It never ran for office, never ran for school president or did anything political. It wasn't until I decided to run for the attorney general's office, you know, four years ago that, you know, I felt like it was time for my generation to step up, the Iraq and Afghanistan generation, that there's a lot of things that, that aren't necessarily going well in both our country and our, you know, political, political uni universe. So. I just felt compelled that it's my time to serve. His wife Jamie wasn't on board at first. No wife actually wants to sign up for this. They have Sophia, Isabella and Jack at home. I have three kids under five and two in diapers. It's, it's incredibly hard. I, I, I continue to make a priority though that, that I do get home to my family and I do make sure that, you know, I, I'm not going to sacrifice my family for for this business. Years before he became a family man, Laxalt told me he didn't really have a plan at all. I don't know there's much tougher than having to get a death sentence at, at age 18 and you know be told that you have a problem with addiction, problem with alcoholism and partying, going out, things like that, that that um, all that had to stop. Fortunate that my mom is you can imagine I was her baby boy and for her to make that really courageous step to say, okay, this isn't just an adolescent, you know, just finding his way. She had to come to that, that conclusion that, that I had a problem and I needed help. He's been sober since. Some of the supplies are coming in, but we're expecting more. We talked to him while he toured Safe House. Some incredible people here that are dedicating their lives to trying to help women that are victims of domestic violence. Laxalt answered some questions about one of his top campaign issues, education and his support for school choice and technical training. You know, one of the, the best things that we can do is try to shift our K through 12 to be able to match today's workforce. You know, we have this cookie cutter K through 12, and meanwhile, we've got employers in Las Vegas that can't find employees. You have, for example, Hispanic kids uh, whose parents have not graduated from high school, and they're building robots in ninth and 10th grade. They love it, they're engaged. We've got those examples. Charter schools are, are a great opportunity. You know, we have to round the corner as a state. We just, we cannot accept failure. Tonight on Fox 5 News at 10, you'll see our exclusive interview with Laxalt's Democratic opponent, Steve Sisolak.